legislators have been looking at sales tax reform, talking about broadening the sales tax base, lowering the rate. But you say they're not approaching this correctly. Uh, right. They're not pr- approaching it systematically. They're not looking at it from uh, the perspective that someone who truly studies uh, tax reform would look at it from the perspective of economic efficiency or, uh, I think, justice, uh, uh, e- e- economic uh, and personal freedom. So they're focusing strictly on broadening the base uh, to include uh, services. Right now, the sales tax only includes goods, for the most part, uh, and lowering the rate. Uh, as I point out, the rate clearly needs to be lowered. But the fact is, is that um, uh, the, the whole base of the sales tax need to be re- needs to be restructured, particularly if you're going to expand it to, um, to services. Now, you mentioned this, but let's get back to it. You think that lowering the rate is a good idea. Oh, yes. North Carolina's uh, sales tax rate is very high. Uh, it is uh, almost tied for the highest in the southeast uh, with, um, with Tennessee. And the fact is, is that Tennessee uh, doesn't have a, an income tax. So uh, while Tennessee has a, an 8% uh, sales tax rate, we have something like a 7.98. I mean, it's almost tied. Um, so we're very high, uh, needs to be lowered. Um, Florida, which doesn't have an income tax, has a con- uh, much lower sales tax than North Carolina. So the rate needs to be lowered. But the reason why they are looking at um, – Uh, lowering the rate in conjunction with expanding the base is really to placate the citizens to make that expansion of the base politically more palatable. It is not really about making the, the tax more just.